Hello everyone, welcome to Die Party Fiasco. It is a uh, brand new game setting that we're going to be rolling with today. Um, we, as you can see, like we've got sort of like a really interesting layout for the system right now. I mean, like let me just uh, before we get started into all that, though, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce everyone. We've got uh, a couple of new players with us today, but uh, up first we've got uh, Graham. Say hello, Graham. Never. Never. <laughs> up next we have uh, Gamer Siren. Hey guys, how's it going? And one of our new players, Sora. Say hello. Hello. And followed by. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, the Metaphor Gaming. Hello. Otherwise known as Metaphor. Otherwise known as John. Whichever I will be calling him John. I, I am a man of many names. You can call me John. <laughs> Hi, John. So, uh, tonight, guys, we are playing Fiasco. And if you don't know what Fiasco is, you're in for a treat because Fiasco is just the best game ever made. Uh, That's right. Uh, the best game. Graham might say that it's uh, not the case, but it is. Um, the jury's out, still. So, for everyone playing at home, Fiasco is a game about collaborative storytelling. And the best way to describe it is that uh, <laughs> we are going to be playing characters in a scenario who have high ambition and very, very, very low impulse control. That is the best way to describe what we are playing tonight. The idea being that um, everything that we do is going to be just like except like escalating just conflicts constantly. Just it's it's going to be nutters. So the way that we uh, we normally pick a um, a game type or a playset because Fiasco runs on playsets, which are literally just like a bunch of uh, scenarios a bunch of objects, a bunch of locations, all that sort of stuff. Um, and they put them into a play set. Now, the last one we played that's on the Dire Party um, Archive YouTube channel uh, it was called Boomtown, which was like a Western gold prospecting sort of era game. And that one ended up being completely fucking bonkers. Just like unbelievably bonkers. So we've got a couple of sets that um, everyone in the group has gone and picked. We, we've picked two each and some of them will be the same um, and some of them um, are going to be singles and the idea is, is that we're going to be rolling a die to pick which ones we're going to be uh, which, which one we're going to be playing. So uh, we have uh, the current sets that we've picked uh, Bangkok 1984 which is a... Graham do you want to, do, do you know what that one is about? Bangkok 1984, it's about chess, it's about the chess championship, Cold War. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it, the chess championship between, chess. The Ameri between the Americans and the Russians. I mean, that's, that's who it was. I think it was Bobby Fischer versus Kasparov. Mm-hmm. Is that, is that right? Um, I believe it's, like, yeah. it's like spy chess. Um, so let me just pull up the, the list here, because, um... But yeah, but that, that is what it's about. it's about. It's about the World Chess Championship, 1984. That's crazy. Um, the next one we have is Chaos in the Kitchen. Uh, I believe that one is a set about, um, like, like a Master Chef or an Iron Chef sort of game show. Um, and everyone has I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's explicitly a game show. I think this is about cooking. But just about cooking? Uh, okay. I think but, it has the same, I think it's like a five-star restaurant. It has the same feel. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. Um, then we have, uh, the next, and that was, those were Graham's selections. Uh, Siren's selections are, of course, Bangkok 1984 again, and one called Back to the Old House. Uh, yes. do you want to explain what that one is? That one is like the ha house is haunted or it had some type of a tragic background and you have to go back to the house to finish some type of... Uh, or something like that? Yeah, like you have to finish some type of it literally unfinished says, business. Yeah, you, you left unfinished business. That's why you need yep. to go back to finish it and it all. That's okay. exactly why. So, so all of these things are kind of like vague in a way because a lot of what happens is people get... Uh, the, the, the minutiae of what actually happens gets decided randomly, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, uh, so the next one is... 
I believe, Sora, your picks, uh, we have Camp Death and Chaos in the Kitchen. Uh, do you want to mm -hmm. explain what uh, Camp Death is? Um, well, from what I, I read of it, it's basically uh, a camp where there's, like, murders that took place. Ba basically, fr something Friday the 13th-ish. Yeah, so uh, Camp Clearwater's been abandoned some grisly unsolved murders 20 years ago or whatever. <laughs> That's what it literally says. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, the new owner has probably made up some creepy-ass story to get campers to scare up the business. You know, um, we've got booze, pot, and a distance from authority to make the greatest summer ever. What could go wrong? <laughs> so, yeah, there's those ones. Um, and I picked uh, Fiasco High and the Ice. Uh, Fiasco High, I like. I saw this and I'm like, holy god, man! This sounds like the best thing ever. It liter here's all it says. High school is often tragically billed as the best years of your life. Yet, is there any other time in life so aptly summarized by a powerful ambition and poor impulse control? Like, <laughs> when I think of that, I'm just like, holy shit, that sounds amazing. Uh, the Ice is a, um, let me see if I can find it, because there's just, there's a lot, there is a lot of them. Uh, McMurdo Station, Antarctica, Mactown. Things don't always work out the way they're supposed to in a tiny, isolated research outpost in the frozen wasteland. Um, and then, uh, metaphor, your two picks were Camp Death and Fiasco. Hi. Yes. So we're going to roll... We're going to roll a 1d10. And now I've got these ordered out in a particular way. Um... And whatever the result is, is the game that we're going to be playing. Uh, just so everyone knows, here is the order. Um, so that everyone knows that I'm not cheating. I'll just uh, write it out so that everyone can be clear. My psychic power say Camp Death. You reckon it's going to be Camp Death? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I hope so. That'd be fun to start with. It would be pretty <gasps> cool. Um, oh, that car's on fire. I love fire. Yeah, yeah, dude. All right, so here we go. Here's the list. Here's the order. And now I'm going to roll a 1d10. I'm going to say Camp Death has a 2 out of 10 chance. Here we go. 8. So we got the ice. Well, there you go. All right, so. Whatever that is. I believe that is in the main. Book, which everyone should have. It is, yes. <clears throat> so, uh, the way that um, uh, Fiasco is played for everyone playing at home is that, uh, as you can see on the overlay, we have uh, a bunch of B boxes and a bunch of G boxes. And um, there is 20 die in total. Now, at the start of the game, we will roll the 20 die. The colors don't matter. And we will then have a, a selection of die that we can go through. So we'll have like four sixes, we'll have like two twos, you know, that sort of stuff. And the way that we, we do this is that um, we basically add, um, we basically have uh, relationships that we can pick, which is like defined between the players. So in this case, um, uh, metaphor and me will be picking relationships between each other. Metaphor and Sora will be picking a relationship between each other. Sora and Graham picking a relationship between each other. Uh, Graham and Siren will be, be picking a relationship between each other. And then uh, Siren and myself will be picking a relationship between each other. Ooh. And those were randomly rolled, but I had to put the fucking the list up earlier. Um, uh, make the scene so you didn't actually get to see those rolls, unfortunately. Um, what's... Which which one is this actually called? What's the actual title? It's called the Ice. It's in the main book. If you yeah, have the I'm Fiasco PDF, out. yeah. It's the it's uh, the last place that they have in the main set. It's in the Skype chat. Yeah, it's in the Skype chat. Okay. Um and um, we basically those die that we rolled, they will sort of lock in what we can and cannot pick. And the way that it works, everyone will take an opportunity to pick a relationship to uh, pick a need between the two players that they're close to. Like, you can't pick and you can't define a need for someone that you're not 
having a relationship with. So I can't pick a need for Sora and, you know, vice versa because we're not connected in that way. Um, the other thing we can pick is locations um, and we can also pick objects. Uh, so the, three thi the four things were relationships, needs, locations, and objects. And all these things come out of the die that we pick. It'll make complete sense. What we, what we normally do is we go around make sure that everyone has at least one relationship with the person next to them. Um, you can leave it undefined. As, uh, so basically what happens is you pick a category and then you pick something from that category. So for example, if uh, I pick uh, uh, rel you know, work as the relationship between myself and Siren, then Siren can come in and say, okay, we are former co-workers and she can sort of you know, make that relationship something in uh, a little different than what it could have been. Former co-workers at the Gentleman's Club. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So um, <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to roll the, the 20 die and then we're going to get our numbers. So I'm going to roll. Um, it's a D6 that we roll, so I'm going to roll 20 D6. Taking forever. All right. So, wow, we got a lot of sixes, actually. Yeah. Jesus. We got very little ones. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, okay, so I'm going to write down what we've got here. If someone can read them out to me, that would be great. How many ones do we have? We have two ones. Two ones. How many twos do we have? We have four twos. All right. How many threes do we have? A million. One we have million? six threes. One, one million. Six threes? Uh, wow. Yeah. Right. How many fours do we have? Two. Wow. Four, uh, three. Three? Three? Yep. Three. Three. Yep. How many fives do we have? Zero. We, wow, we have zero fives. Okay. Can we re-roll? <laughs> so, uh, no, we can't. And how many sixes do we have? Uh, six. All right. Five. Five? Oh, wait, five. Five. Yeah, all right. So the way that um, the last person to pick your die can be anything. Okay. So you don't get stuck with whatever's last. And we go in a clockwise order. So if you're last, for example, you can pick a five and it'll be like, yeah, what's up? Wow, there's fuck buddies in the friendship list? That's fucked up. <laughs> I, I, I saw that. I hope we don't five. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to now define our relationships and the, the, the stuff that's going to be in this game. Um, Graham, do you feel comfortable starting? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. All right, then, you can start. There it is. I, I can pick relationship, need, or location. Yeah, but we'll try and get all the relationships out of the way first, like just like the high-level ones. So for the first round, everyone make sure that we have a relationship with the person next to us, and then we can go into the minutiae of all that stuff. So. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'll define relationship between me and Dave. Uh, we're not next to each other. Oh, sorry, did you draw it somewhere? Uh, yeah, I'm about to draw it up now, so um, if you give me a second. I, I, I so you can be that. between Siren and Sora as your relationship. Okay, with, with, with Siren then. Where's the text option in this thing? Can you get rid of the stuff that's on there? Why? Because I can have more room. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> that's what you want. There you go. Whoops. Thank you. Oh, he just made it white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job. Yep. Um, uh, so, so me and Siren are going to be uh, criminals. And what number is that? Four. That's a four? All right. All right, so you're going to be criminals. Can do. So we now we've got two fours left. Hang on, let me just write all this out. It takes a little while to get all this set up, guys, but once we're in the game, it makes perfect sense. Text. We'll make this. Alright, so you are... You are... Relationship is crime. Okay. Uh, Sora, you're next. You can define a relationship between Meta or Graham. Hmm. Okay. I will pick Gran. All right. 
And uh, so I can pick. We're on the ice relationships, right? Yes, we are. And I can pick any one of these yeah. as long as we have that you number. You can't that pick rolled. five because there is no. Five right, ice. right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Bah, 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 bah. How about um under friendship? Mm -hmm. Um. There's a one. How about manipulator slash victim? No, no, no. You pick the high level one, so you can pick friendship, oh. for example. Okay. Yeah, and then someone then later on you can define within that category friendship, or Graham can define that category of friendship however he sees fit. So, do you want friendship? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with friendship. All right. And that was red. Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually I actually don't have a scene for this show not, but yeah, that's all right. It's fine. Uh, all right, uh, Meta, you're up. You can be define a relationship between myself or Sora. All right, and uh, how many do we have left? Uh, we have everything aside from a five. Okay. Um, three is the most used, the most ones that we have. Okay. But be careful. I mean, like romance is kind of a sticky one, so. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. It's sticky, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Damn it. Gross. It usually Damn ends it. up sticky, you mean. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> or not so sticky, with someone huh? being sticky and the other person not being sticky. Are, are, you, are you accusing me of being, me being a bad lover? Uh... uh, uh <laughs> I think somebody needs to have a romance between uh, them. <laughs> Is this personal experience we're talking about, or...? I mean, I... You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm getting very deep in my character, sir. Yeah. Sir? <laughs> if the shape right next to each other, you could totally have done it. Damn it, Siren. Um, so I believe that I will choose with Dave, and okay. I will choose... Unless we're making fanfics. <laughs> Unless, I mean... <laughs> oh, Jared. Um, I'm going to go with one for uh, Dave and myself. All right, so we'll work? Yep. we got to work it, work it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Work. And let me just remove that from our pool. So we have uh, one, one, we have three twos, we have six threes, we have four twos, and we have zero fives and five sixes. Okay, uh, is my turn now. Um, I'm going to, with Siren. Hello. I'm going to pick Soul. I don't know what it is, but we're picking it. Things are not... So that's like, life is, is anybody on else the ice. having issues? What? What are you talking about? I'm having issues listening. My, my mic's messing up. I can hear you fine. I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we picked, I picked Soul with you, Siren. So... Picked what? Soul. It's number six. Okay. Yeah, which is like life is on the ice, the only survivors, the one who found the body, newbie slash old timer, two of a kind myth. Oh, God. Okay. Two yeah. of a kind misanthropes. Misanthropes, thank you very much. And yep. poet and muse. Oh my God, poet and muse. Oh my <laughs> gosh. How uh, many sixes do we have? <laughs> yeah, uh, we have uh, four sixes left. Uh, Siren, you're up. So, uh, so I'm now. I'm find that soul relationship <laughs> as a poet and muse. Fucking shit. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Right. I want to hear some really good prose from you, sir. Am I the muse or are you the muse? I, I don't know. We haven't defined that yet. No. All right. Sorry. Poet and muse. <laughs> Thank you, Siren, for making this weird. You're welcome. God damn it. All right. You said no romance, so the only thing, other thing is that. Oh, shit. Uh, Graham, okay. could we be hoodlums or drug people? I don't know. I, I was thinking about it because the, just the phrase drug people is funny <laughs> well, to me. Amazing, right? <laughs> so, all right, the other one, you can define the friendship one as well, Graham, if you wanted to. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hmm. Manipulator and victim? Holy shit! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, we're not, not going to pick that. Sure. Uh, do perfect. we have any? We have threes, right? I mean, yeah, we have, have six threes. They're the most that we have. So. It okay, is so well, unfortunate that we don't have a five. Mm. No. Me and Fun buddies. <laughs> if somebody waited, no, no, no. waited long enough, they could have a five. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I think, I think, I'm pretty sure Sora gets the. Uh, no, he I think gets... maybe Siren. I think you get it. The last day. So. Well, maybe maybe we'll come back to that. Yeah. So <laughs> to fuck buddies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. Um, well, since your relationships, Graham, are defined now, you can, if you want to, define something else, like a location or a need between yeah, your relationships. That works I too. Know. So, uh, needs. Uh, I I'm, I'm thinking. Oh my god, there's also friendship to get laid. Fuck buddies. Yeah? Yeah? No. Manipulator <laughs> victim. Dorm room bunkies. Ooh. I Is mean, it, those no, are all just uh, pretty much leading to fuck buddies. Like. No, me and me and Siren are going to be ecological extremists. <laughs> and I, and by that, I don't mean we're like we're like pro cons conservation. We're like anti conservation. So that like, is throw things away, three. styrofoam cups everywhere. So why the fuck are you on the North Pole then? Like you just like, we're the people that leave the fire. It. We're the you people that leave the, the fires ice. burning in the most oldest forests of all of Africa and yeah. just catch it all on fire. Cigarette yeah. butts on an, on the Atlantic ice shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Name right. palm everything. Well, you are crime, so like you know. Yeah. Yeah. Ecological ex extremists. Oh my gosh, their need is to get off on secret trips out of Mactown. Ooh. So Mactown is like the only like town on the ice shelf. I'm pretty sure. So. God damn it. Anyway. Or to get off on destroying a reputation. Yeah, that works. All right, so uh, Sora, you're up. You can uh, you have a uh, relationship with Meta that you need to define, or you can define the friendship, or you can make a need, or a hmm. location, or an object. Okay, <laughs> be interesting. Um, <laughs> Did you become the bad guy from Captain Planet? <laughs> 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 That's great. Oh, Way to go, chat. Yeah. That's us. Oh, God. Yes. What's his name? Uh, Let's see. Uh, hi. Uh, John, um, hi. Hi. No, not not you. Not your name. Oh. The bad guy from Captain Planet. Oh. oh there's shit. a lot of them. They had the rat guy that was, um, David. Oh, it's pollution something. Uh. Cat <laughs> anyway. Go ahead. I'll, 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 I'll check. You'll Google here. it. You'll Google it for us, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what numbers are left? Uh, everything aside from a five, so you're free to pick. There's one um, one left, so, you know. Okay, so, um, how about needs? Yep. Um, three to get off, and do I, and I pick which one, right? Which, which relationship are you picking? Because needs are relationships between two people. Right. So, oh, okay. So, so, so I have to specify and just. Right. Well, I mean, like you could make it just just for yourself, but um, it it sort of works. Actually, no. We'll make we'll make need. It seems like needs in this one seem to be like. Um, you can either define it as a relationship thing, or you can define it as your own thing if you wanted to. So his hmm. name is just Captain Pollution. So. Captain Pollution? Are you serious? <laughs> that's, that's, that's one of them. The, the rat guy is verminous scum, which is a good name. Yeah. Um. So, so what are you you're picking to get off for you, for yourself? Yes. Well, see the. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. All right. Oh, um, and, so, that, and that's his need for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, oh. Uh, what what relationship are you picking? Which which side, Graham or metaphor? Um, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Alright, uh, let's make the needs pink. To of course get the pink. off. Dot, oh, dot, dot. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Alright, no. uh, metaphor, you have an open relationship with Sora that you can <clears throat> define. And that's oh. sort of like the necessary one that we need to get out of the way, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we have a um, bunch of threes and sixes left? We do, yes. Who so... Soul or romance, Sora? Hmm. Let's go romance. Ooh, dang. Oh. I, I, you, I, let me just point this out. Sora, are you okay with having a romantic relationship with Metaphor? I am... Bring it on. I don't care. All right. <laughs> yes. Hot. Good. 
That's that's the right answer. Okay, I'm, sometimes people don't like it, so like it's. I I'm comfortable with with anything. I I don't care. <laughs> okay. That's a, you say that you say that now. You say that now. Wait until it gets. Warm. And I will say it later as well. <laughs> Drink wow. some more, sir. Drink some more. Yeah, I don't need drinks for that. All right. So okay. So yep, we've got a romantic relationship between Metaphor and Sora now. All right, my turn. I'm going to make a need. Um. Uh, I'm going to define a need between myself and Meta, and we're going to go with to get out. Which is the last one. Alright. And... What was the romantic relation? How many die do we have left? God damn it, I think I might have missed one. One job. Uh, romance <laughs> was three, right? So how many threes have we had? Um, we've had one, and was there any other threes that we used, guys? Do you remember? Um, no, not to my not to my knowledge, unless it's the uh, eco ecological, like sadist. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So two have been used, and then uh -huh. a third one for romance. So in total, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, just just for the sake of completeness of this story, Captain Pollution is Captain Planet's evil opposite, formed by the five evil rings, deforestation, super radiation, not regular radiation, super, super. radiation, smog, toxics, and hate. Oh man, so, hate rings. So 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 we have those rings, I say. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's, it's it's just the two towers. Okay, great. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, so uh, Siren, you're up. You can define a need, a location, or an object, since both of your relationships are defined. So. Um, do we have any sixes left? Yes, I believe we do. We have three sixes left. I'm going to define the relationship of Muse and Poet. Um, you do, don't do don't. Okay, yep. What are you picking? <laughs> Well, I was going to do one, but now that you're saying don't do it, um, to get laid. <sighs> I knew it. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, okay. Well, great. Uh, so you can define these things later. Um, this one is a little little heavy on the, like, interplay fucking, isn't it? <laughs> to get laid. We're rolling with it. Uh, Graham, you're up. You can uh, define hmm. the relationship between you and Sora, and you can set a need. You can define the relationship to get off as well. Uh, sorry, the need. Can I, can, I, can I do an object? You can do an object if you want, yes. Or a location. Yep. One of the objects is a 55 gallon barrel of urine. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Wow, it's, it what's is that literally just an ice climate, so I wouldn't be you know, <laughs> too surprised. Well, what is that under? Untoward. Untoward. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Well, don't don't he have to do the untoward first? Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, location and objects are for the entire party to use, and the way that it's wor it works is that um, uh, if you define an object, then you might not even have anything to do with the object in the story. But the thing is, we need to use that object and that location in the story at some point. So. Ooh. We've got a couple twos left, right? Uh, yes, we have three twos. Well, I'm gonna try and save two of those. So what are you picking, Graham? Um, I'm picking... Oh, man. One of the locations is a Wells Fargo ATM. It's pretty funny, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to pick the... I gotta pick a upper-level one. Or I can do... I don't like any of the to-get-off ones. Yeah. Uh, so, so to get off... On, on, I mean, on, on sabotaging a scientific program, I think that makes the most sense. So I'll do that. That's between you and Sora, so... Yeah, I know. Alright, so basically you have two crime relationships, what it sounds like. Ooh. Oh, something like that. Okay. I have a criminal friend, and then I have a criminal criminal. Uh, so that is a four. We have one four left. Sora... What are you going to pick? Um, can I de define the friendship? 
You can. Okay. Um, what do we have left? Uh, as far as numbers? One sec. I'm just writing this down. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we have two threes. We have three threes. Uh, sorry, two, two, we have three twos, three threes, one four, and two sixes. Okay, I'll use the two. Um, be f bewildered first timers. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. So maybe. Okay, so the way I'm getting this coming up now, maybe Siren is like like someone on the ice shelf who has been there for a while and she sort of brings in Graham and Sora who are friends and then she teams up with Graham to like do crime and Graham gets off on sabotaging stuff sort of thing so maybe that's how that relationship works between you three that two seems, towels that seems interesting to me God, just so, a bunch of assholes. <laughs> <laughs> the side of the table, yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. <laughs> First time. It's... All right. And that was a two. All right. Uh, metaphor, you're up. You can make a location, an object, a need. You can define the need. You can find your relationships. All right. Um. I think I may define an object. All right. And I'd like to use one of those twos on forbidden. Ooh, okay. I like it. Ooh. All right. Uh, what color should we make? We'll make this, make this green. Many bees on the dance floor. All right, <clears throat> and uh, yep, we have one two left. We have three threes. We have one four and two sixes. And I am going to define the. So okay, so here's the thing: you can leave um, needs and relationships undefined, and then you can sort of define them as the game goes on. So you don't necessarily have to specify the exact type of relationship that you have with another character you right. should be it, it, you could do whatever you like yeah so uh let's see here um i am going to define the get laid one <laughs> um <clears throat> so what do we have we have a six which is by your sweetheart who has been strangely distant uh we have a four an old lover rekindling an old romance, and a three and a two, which is a, by a visitor fast, but that guy <laughs> girl you've had your eye on. God. If we had a one, that'd be perfect for that, but... Or a five. Yeah. Yeah, five would be good. In exchange for something you need, yeah, five well, would be pretty good. Why don't you just leave that, and if that, I'm the last one, I'll define it as that. Alright, that seems interesting. Uh... So I can also define the work and the need um, to get out is of work detail that is killing you, relationship that's turned weird. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> that might be an interesting one. Interesting. You know what? I am going to take that. I'm going to take the last two and I'm going to say of a relationship that's turned weird. And if you want, Siren, we can roll that into the um, the soul poet muse thing and like the to get laid thing as well. Maybe I'm trying to get out of it or something like that. <laughs> Whatever you want. And metaphor is helping me in some way. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I like that. How like close that. are you guys? Yeah, done. We we don't know yet. <laughs> Our relationship is just work colleagues at, at this point in time. Uh, of a relationship that's kind of weird. Okay. 
All right, and that is all the twos taken. So, Siren, you're up. You have three threes, one four, and two sixes. Do we have a location yet? We do not. Ooh. I think I wanted to find a location. What do we have again? Sorry. Uh, three, four, and six. Three, four, and six. Mac Town Pleasure? Interesting. Damn. Wait, what? Whoa. Yep, we're doing that one. So that is a uh, hot ten... Visiting dignitary quarters. It's got the Wells Fargo ATM, the dormitory room, yeah. <laughs> the coffee house, post office. It's like places you just kind of hang out. Yeah, so I guess it's sort of like the R and R place for the, for the, the shelf. Right. Um, Ooh, inside oh. Mount Erebus, above the lava lake. I saw that. Be sounds yeah. hot. That'd be that'd be. It sounds where hot. You'd, that'd be where you'd be if you were an eco terrorist. <gasps> That would be, but so would the ATM. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so would the ATM. <laughs> I'm in. Good call. Good call. All right. So we're gonna go with three Mac Town pleasure then, I guess. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> so would the ATM. Perfect. I. Yep. Yep. That's where I like to hang out. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get that cash out, bro. Hey, Grandma, I heard your social security came in. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Mac Town Pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. Yeah. Alright, there we go. The pleasure to Um you. so Graham, you have uh two threes, one four, and two sixes. You can uh I think everyone has needs, I guess. I mean the need could also um so the forbidden object is going to be five kilos of explosives in the detonator. Ooh. Damn it! No, I was I was going for the. Uh, oh damn it! You're going to define that? Oh. What were you going to define? Uh, I mean, I was going to go for the w w the one kilo baggie of marijuana, but we don't have any twos left, so you can define that anyway. Oh. Uh. Uh. Five kilos of explosive and a detonator. Cool. And a faulty detonator. It's oh. a faulty detonator. Is it a faulty detonator? No, it just says detonator. No. Oh, boo. That's, that's, for, that's for our eco-terrorism. Ooh. I was going to say, Dave and they're just screwed. You guys are eco-terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. win the game when the world Yeah, we win. Up. So There is no winning and losing. That's, that's, how, that's, that's, just how this, that's how this works, right? No winning and no losing. Only, only just pain in the end. Actually, the last one we played, Boomtown, I walked away with that with a brand new badge. And a house, so I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, so you got the you got the sheriff then? Yeah, I, I did. didn't watch all of it. Yeah, sorry, uh, spoiled it. Great. No, it ended up really well for me, like stupidly well. I'm gonna have to watch it. Yeah. All right. So uh, that was a six, I believe. Yes. All right. <clears throat> uh, so uh, Sora, you're up. You can uh, you can. Pick another object now. Uh, you can define the location, or you can add another location if you really wanted to. Um, you can define the romance, and yeah, that's it. Hmm. We don't like to add too many needs to the game because it gets it really weird if there's like, right. too many needs flying about. Um, there is. Is there objects or is? Yep, you can make there... another object if you want. As if the All game right. isn't already weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> My role is clearly defined. Yeah. Do we have any? Yeah, we have six left, so it'll be sentimental. Um. Uh, you gonna make a sentimental thing? All right. Yes. That's a good one. But but I can't define it yet, right? No, you cannot define it. That is okay. someone else's job. Unless it rolls back to you and we haven't done it already. Sentimentals. So that is all the sixes. So going by this, we have one, two, three. Uh, that can't be right. I'm pretty sure this, we've missed one in there at some point. How many fours have we had? I'm pretty sure we've done more than one four. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, there were only three fours, so. Yeah. Let's 
we have the crime relationship. We have the... There's... Yeah. So crime was one of the fours, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Then we also have... Uh, Scientific program. Which one was that, Ando? Uh, to get off. To get on off. Sep yeah, yep, so it's so on the second on one. Yep. Yep. And was there any other fours? Um. No. Hold on. No, we we haven't used uh, we, we have haven't one used four last left. Four. Okay, no. so we had six threes, so that's the only other one. Yep. Because it's supposed to end on siren. Yeah. Is the last one. So we'll just remove a three from there. All right. <clears throat> so um, uh, meta Europe. All right. And uh, what do we have left? We have one three and one four. One, three, and one, four, and I can define my oh, relationship. No, 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 wait, no, we're totally right. No, we're totally right. We have two threes and one four, because then the last die, Siren can make whatever she wants. No, we're totally right. fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's two threes and one four, and I can either define relationship need or object? Uh, you can define the relationship between myself and you, the, and the romance between you and Sora. Uh, you can define the sentimental object. You can define the location of MacTown Pleasure. But we're trying to not have as many needs as we have. So like, okay. we, we won't take any more needs. But you can also define another object if you want. Like an uh, like one that isn't defined. Hmm. Okay. Romance, romance, romance. I'm, 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 I'm looking at it. If I've only got threes <laughs> and fours. Wait, so what is, what is it got with three? A one-time fling or a lifelong crush or object of crush. Interesting. Ooh. Interesting. Hey, Notice man, me, it's, senpai. Notice it's, me. Hey, it's pretty fucking cold out there. You know, you need to snuggle sometimes. And, and Dave is, in fact, married to the sea. So. Um. I like to be the little spoon. <laughs> But this is <laughs> Sora and I. I so, Sora, would you be okay with a one-time fling? Well, Ed, sure, why not? Oh, dang. But, but, but I, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. <sighs> hey, man, no, you, made, you, you, you sort of stepped it up here, bro. You got to take it on the chin now. Oh, <laughs> like, that's the thing. I don't, I don't want it to be like Senpai noticed me so hard, and then all of a sudden, hey, I'm just gonna skip out with these two because we're gonna blow up this I this ice block. Yeah. Or for maybe reasons. Senpai notices you. Senpai notices like you. Now come be our fall guy for the fucking explosion. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna get fucking trapped there. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad one. I mean, like maybe he could be a crush, and it's one sided, right? Exactly. And, and but I'm trying could... to make it like have this like mutual like. Is structure of back and forth between the two of us. If we were one time fling, we were both invested, so we'd have that pass where he'd have to have some confliction in his character instead of just running off and saying, "I want to blow things up." Bye. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, but all you right. could try to like talk him out of blowing stuff up. You could, yeah. You know, exactly. I, I've I've noticed you for so long, and <laughs> loved you, and I think that we you have this chance to just run away with me and be with me forever. And he'd be like, oh, "You're so right. I've had the feelings for so long too." And then fanfics explode. Boom. What do you think? I what we could go with that one. Although I do warn you, Sora, if any of my viewers are going to stop by here, I, <laughs> there are some fan fiction writers. So yes, I want to read all of them. All right, so we're gonna go with longtime crush slash object of crush. All right. Oh, trust me, Jared and I have uh, scientific gaming right there. We've already been a victim of a couple fan fictions. Oh, oh, I've heard uh, them. They are friendly. delicious. They are delicious. Are they really? Yes. Nice. Object. I have had many a fan fiction re uh, read out on uh, those streams that I frequent. About I, I want them as limited as possible, too, by the way. Uh, ship it! Ship, ship it! it. <laughs> oh, God, no. Adam and, Adam and Lola here, no. Alright, so, all right, so we've got... 
We've got a three and a four left for mine. All right, let's see here. All right. So I can define the work relationship as either specialist, supporter, or former co-workers. They don't really work in the story, so I'm not going to define them. Um, mm. Sentimental. What is? What can we pick from that? What were you going to pick for that, by the way, Sora? What was your pick for sentimental? Um, let me see. Let me go back there. Creepy-ass doll. Oh, the Hawaiian shirt sounds pretty fun. <laughs> no, I, I actually... Actually, it was a... Be a Monica Lewinsky thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Monica. I can't even think now. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, what numbers do we have left? No, no, no. What were you going to pick when you picked it? Like, what were you thinking? Um, <laughs> I was thinking of the can of potted meat stolen from Scott's hut. Okay, but... Who's Scott? We, we don't have any ones left. I don't know so who like... the hell Scott is, but I have his... his Alright, so I'm going to define... Yeah, I'm going to define this sentimental yeah. object as a... Oh, they're both bad. Three and four are bad. No, Dude, I'm... the child's doll, I'm telling you. No, Chucky, I'm not... is that you? No, that we're not making it weird. <laughs> it's already <laughs> weird enough. We don't need it any more weird. So I can pick a dormitory room or Southern Exposure Coffee House. Ooh. I'm gonna then... go with I'm gonna go with a coffee house, because that that it seems pretty cool to me. Right. <laughs> Latte. Latte. Who ordered a latte? Sora could be a barista. Holy fuck. Do and then think. Meta could come in and be like, make mine extra strong. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Do you My senpai didn't cream, notice me. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> senpai, please. My senpai hasn't noticed me yet. I need, oh, I I need a really strong drink. coffee. Yeah. You have a little bit of that cream on your chin. Let me wipe it off. <laughs> The Sora 4 gaming, it's already happening. <laughs> uh, holy crap. Well, I don't think the game even started yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. So, uh, the last one is up to, um, to uh, our good friend Siren here. She can pick any number of anything she wants. She has a wild die. She can pick 1 through 6 on anything. She can define... Uh, the, the need to get laid, she can That's define the sentimental, she can create another object, she can create another location, and that's about it. Oh, yeah, that's about it, yeah. Everything else has been defined. Yep. Fappuccino. Fappuccino. <laughs> that's good. Shampai. Yeah. Um, so I decided I'm going to actually define that to get laid in exchange for something you need. Ooh, okay. That was a five, right? Yeah. So, Dave, yeah. uh, I need that thing to help blow up the ice. Oh. Oh! <laughs> dang! It just got <laughs> fucking... Okay. Yeah, no, that works. That works. That's a, that's in, that's Flavortown right there. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. So, we're about to go on a break, but before we do that, I'm going to uh, tell you all what we've got. Um, so... We're going to start off with Graham since he was the first one to pick. Between he and Sora, they, are, they have a relationship of friendship and they are bewildered first-timers. They also share a need to get off on sabotaging a scientific program. The, uh, need, the, the uh, relationship between Sora and Metaphor is one of romance and that is a lifelong crush slash object of crush. We will define what that is when we get back from the break. Uh, the relationship between metaphor and myself is one of work and we share a need to get out of a relationship that's turned weird. And uh, the relationship between myself and Siren is one of soul. Uh, one of us is a poet and the other is a muse. We share a need to get laid in exchange for something you need. What that is, we haven't defined yet. We have uh, a couple of objects. We have a forbidden five kilos of explosives and a detonator that we can throw in the story. We also have a sentimental object that is undefined. So that could be absolutely anything now. 
Uh, we also have a location in which most of the story is going to be taking place. It is at the Southern Exposure Coffee House. And that's pretty much uh, the game as it is right now. We're going to take a quick three to five minute break to let our players like uh, think on what their mm -hmm. relationships could be. We're going to come back. We're going to start uh, doing some stuff to like flesh out the story. Stuff's all right. Yeah. Ad Future, thank you very much for the host, dude. Appreciate it. We'll be back in three to five. Don't go anywhere. There's more of this to come. If you enjoyed what you've seen so far, please consider giving the channel a follow. It really helps us out. We're trying to grow our audience around this type of stuff that we do. Anyways, we'll be back in three to five. Don't go anywhere. Enjoy the break music.